بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم dear viewers today we hear from many people for them to simply say that the prophets cannot hear after leaving this world they present the verse of the quran وما انت بمسمع من في القبور and the translation what they give is o nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam you cannot make the dead hear if they refer to the full verse of that full verse of the holy quran and the siyaq and sibaq the verse next to that they will get to know that this is not referred to the people who are in the grave this is referred to the people who did not bring iman even after seeing nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam they are referred as dead for the sake of argument let us assume that this particular verse is referred to the dead and we cannot make the dead hear no problem for the sake of argument ask them to recite the full verse and the part before this wama anta bi musmi'in man fil qubur is inna allah yusmi'u man yasha wama anta bi musmi'in man fil qubur the mafhum indeed to whom ever allah wills allah makes them listen you cannot make the dead listen even if you take it as for the people in the grave our aqida is right our aqida is proven because we never say that without the bestowal of allah we make the dead here it is allah who has given the power for us to speak and the power for them to listen very clear so we say inna allah yusmi'u man yasha indeed to whom ever allah wills allah makes them hear you cannot make them hear even if we take that verse as the dead cannot hear still our belief is right because we believe allah is the one who is giving the power of listening to the people in the grave whereas in reality this verse doesn't refer to the people in the grave even hafiz ibn kasir has recorded some ahadith under this verse as well as the other verse fa innaka la tusmi'u al-mauta indeed you cannot make the dead hear he has referred some hadith to say when a believer visits the grave of another believer when he says salam that person listens to the salam and respond to the salam as well and as long as he is seated or standing there near the grave of a muslim that person in the grave receives satisfaction to receive satisfaction one should have the understanding to listen to the salam he should have the hearing power to respond to the salam he should have the talking power so in light of the tafsir of hafiz ibn kasir whom these people follow it's very clear that this is referred to the kuffar and not to the people in the grave but these people because they don't want to believe that the prophets of allah can hear they try to misquote even the words of allah tbaraka wa taala they should pay heed that what they are doing is totally against the quran against the hadith and they are following the path of the jews afa tu'minuna bi ba'd al-kitab wa takfuruna bi ba'd bringing iman on few parts of the quran and rejecting few parts of the quran and giving self interpretation on the kalam of allah tbaraka wa ta'ala which is absolutely haram and they are trying to make a place for them in the hell fire therefore dear viewers be away from such people and be in the company of the ulama of ahl sunna so that your iman will be protected wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh